next year was completely shit show overall. It was just what it was just what I happened that next year. I, 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 well, I remember that I showed up at the training camp in January, right? And uh, I had a meeting with AV, and he goes, "Yeah, last year was a good year for you. You played well. Blah blah blah. Not a really good start, but then you got going." And you got going, and you were good in the playoffs. Round one, you were great against Montreal. You were shit against Islanders. I was, I obviously disagreed. And uh, he was like, yeah, your uh, success came because you play with Coots. And then anybody can play with Coots. And you're not a young chicken anymore, so you have to work really hard, blah, blah, blah. So I'm walking out of that meeting. I'm like, here we go again. Jesus fucking Christ, right? <laughs> So I, like, I'm like, okay, it's going to be this kind of time again, because I always felt like I, for some kind of reason, I never had, I never could relax. When I relax, I play the best, right? When I didn't have a pressure, sometimes, you know, like Chi, when he was like hard on me in a good way, mm -hmm. it, well, it helped me. But like this kind of politics, I never, I never, I, I couldn't deal with that. So I'm like, all right, so I'll, we'll see how it's going to go. So obviously we started losing games. You know, I was getting blamed on whatever. I, I was used to that. I didn't give a fuck about that. But it got to the point where I, we were in Buffalo, I think, and I called Chuck Fletcher. It was in March, maybe end of March. And uh, so after the way Amy was talking to me and the way he was handling it, I was like, he's got a contract for three more years. He's going to fucking bury me or something. So I was like, Chuck, listen, like it's things are like this, this, this. You know, I don't think there's a future for me. Because A V obviously signed for three more next year. You know, uh, and you we're know, still I paying guess, them now. Yeah. Yes. I feel like, you know, I can be still a productive player. Right. If I'm used right and if I just at my thirty two years of age, I'm not gonna get shit on my fucking head every fucking game, right? So so we kinda had a, we had a great talk. Chuck was a great guy overall, you know, but obviously it ended bad there in Philly as well but he was he was a good dude so we kind of had an agreement that if there's going to be something for Philly that makes sense that I'm going to be moved so I knew since March that I was going to be on the move probably in the summer I, was, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure about my you know my cap hit it I was, was obviously high for the teams but I wasn't sure so so what happened right I was in Philly by myself for five months right I had no family there my son was at home with Marquetta, uh, I had a, and I, we had a Rosie on the way, which was supposed to be born in early February. Right. Right. So now if I fly home for the birth, I come back, there's a quarantine. I have to miss another two weeks. I get out of shape. Season is fucked. So I'm like, listen, Marquetta said he's going to handle it. She wanted to give a birth in check. I was like, all right, fair enough. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll figure it out. I'm going to stay in Philly. And, uh, so I did. So I haven't seen my daughter for three months, for three months of when she was born. I haven't seen my son when, you know, basically for five months when around two years old. Yeah. I was homesick, obviously, with that kind of situation. You couldn't go anywhere in a restaurant. You couldn't do anything. And uh, on a road, you couldn't do anything. You had to stay at a hotel, right? But whatever, you can, you can still handle it. I would say I'm tough mentally this way. So I lost about fucking, I got home. Seriously, after season, I got home and people are looking at me and asking me if I'm sick. Like, that's how I look. I lost, I lost 20 pounds. I lost 20 pounds. Oh I, I, I saw some pictures the other day. I was, I was literally, I was looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So every, like, imagine that. So I'm going through everything, all of that, that year. Right. right. By myself, whatever. I look like a ghost. Three games left in a season. I'm leading the team and scoring by three or four points. Right. Then we finished me and JVR and G. I think we finished tied that year. Last three games, I was I was I was all over in my head. And before the last fucking game in Philadelphia, I'm not supposed to start, right? I was on a second line with someone. I can remember with JVR and someone. And Ghost is on a third or second or third pairing. And that fucking guy walks in <clears throat> and he goes, "All right, well, for some of you guys, it's the last game. We're never gonna play like this again. So for some of you, it's the last game." And then me and Ghost starts. So what did it say, right? What does it say? You're not on those lines, but you're starting with G and Coots. So obviously, you know, you know, it's fucking game over, 
right? So all right. those 10 years of fucking emo- emotion just build up. Just absolutely fucking builds up. And I remember during the anthem when Lauren Hart sang it, I, I was, I, I started tearing up. First shape, I started tearing up. I was, and I was, and um, I was already leaving after the game because I was so homesick and I couldn't deal with saying goodbyes to everyone because I had such a close relationship with Mope. All of the guys, all of the trainers, all of the people in the arena. It just we had such a good memories and so I hop on a plane right after the game. I was I was in the air at we finished the game at nine forty, ten forty five I was in the air. Right. So I say the guy wow. I say the buys to buys to the guys in the locker room because I just I just, it was too much for me. And uh yeah, so I got I got home, I finally saw my family and uh, obviously then I got to Columbus and then I went off of that but so it was kind of bittersweet ending in philly but uh i like i said it's something that i will never forget and i'm glad i got to experience that with so many great guys and so many great people around the hockey